The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The square of edges combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of its vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9 inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108MP wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12MP ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. The 12MP telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality, every time you zoom into something you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There is also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen which is designed to deliver more of a pen to paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12 GB of RAM and either 128 GB or 512 GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging, it also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best in class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the biggest iPhone Apple has ever made and it's also the best. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the kind of product Apple only releases once in a while. The kind that looks different is built on a fundamentally new technology and will ultimately form the basis of future iPhones for years to come. It has an attractive new design, a straightforward and complete approach to 5G, good cameras and even better performance. The shiny outer rim looks fancy but it also a magnet for fingerprints. Essentially, the design of the 12 Pro Max is just a larger version of the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro and despite the size, it still fits well in the hand and it's easy to hit CD or screen lock button on the left and the volume keys on the right. The notch on the iPhone 12 Pro remains pretty large but the true depth camera still comes in very handy for face ID. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is also tougher this time around. You will get a ceramic shield display up front that's rated 4 times the drop performance as well as a better IP68 water resistance rating that goes down to 6 meters instead of 4 meters. With its 6.7 inch OLED display, the iPhone 12 Pro Max's OLED panel is smaller but brighter than the 6.9 inch Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This device also happens to offer the most color accurate display we have ever tested. The only thing missing from the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a smooth 120Hz refresh rate display. The iPhone 12 Pro Max offers the best cameras on any phone. It comes with quad rear camera setup. You will get 12 megapixel wide, ultra wide, and a telephoto lens, 
and also there is a time of flight 3D scanner. It has a larger main sensor than the iPhone 12 Pro which is designed to deliver an 87% improvement in low light conditions versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The main lens on the iPhone 12 Pro Max also features a fast 1.6 aperture and a lighter sensor for the faster autofocus. You also get a 2.5x optical zoom from the iPhone 12 Pro Max's 12 megapixel telephoto lens, which is behind the Note 20 Ultra's 5x zoom but is better than the 2x zoom on the iPhone 12 Pro. The camera does a superb job in low light. The iPhone 12 Pro Max camera's Smart HDR3 capability also did an amazing job. The iPhone 12 and Pixel 5 were more evenly matched in portrait, but the iPhone does a better job rendering face, especially in the shadow. You can take great selfies with the 12 megapixel front facing camera. However, the rear facing cameras deliver a much punchier performance and are especially impressive in mixed lighting conditions with natural skin tones and good ability to bring out low light detail. The result is simple, if you want to take the best pictures with an iPhone, you can't look anywhere else but the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can record 4K video at 60fps and the video quality is mind blowing. When it comes to sheer performance, the A14 Bionic processor in the iPhone 12 Pro Max paired with 6GB of RAM has no equal. The gameplay remained as fluid and smooth as console. This phone supports every flavor of 5G including sub 6GHz and MMOF. One of the biggest reasons to buy the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the extra endurance you get from its larger battery. It comes with 3687mAh battery with 20W fast charge support. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is a big smartphone in every dimension, in fact it's not far off from the Samsung's recently released Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Mi 10 Ultra is heavy and can be cumbersome if you don't have big hands and deep pockets. Xiaomi went with a glass sandwich design with aluminium rails and carved glass on both sides. On the front there's a full size display with a punch hole in the top left and a speaker grill above the glass. The Mi 10 Ultra is not IP certified which is unfortunate. Other phones at this price point, particularly those from Apple and Samsung, offer protection from water and dust. Xiaomi opted for a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus 120Hz OLED panel instead of a Quad HD Plus screen. At this price, I don't think this is a problem given there are many amazing tech that's packed into the device. The panel is smooth and fast as well as vibrant with deep contrast. If you don't like the excellent adaptive color setting, you can change it in the comprehensive display settings menu. Brightness was quite good, even under direct sunlight, the Mi 10 Ultra was easily viewable. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra skips the fresh Snapdragon 865 Plus in favor of the regular 865. Either way, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is very fast. I didn't have a single performance problem in my week with this device. I played lots of games, took many photos and did a lot of multitasking. I just couldn't get the Mi 10 Ultra to stutter. I think it's fair to say that whatever you do on your phone will be light work for this device. It comes with 8, 12 or 16 GB of RAM depending on the variation. Camera wise the Mi 10 Ultra comes with a quad camera setup. There's the main 48 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 12 megapixel portrait camera and finally a 120x ultra zoom camera. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra takes punchy and contrast heavy images with a fair amount of dynamic range. This device seems to be able to capture white balance well. On dull days the phone took dull photos, on bright days the phone took bright photos. The Mi 10 Ultra's biggest photography feature is its zoom functionality. Samsung offered 100x zoom in the S20 Ultra but the Xiaomi is offering 120x in the Mi 10 Ultra. I found the Mi 10 Ultra's night mode to be one of the worst I have ever encountered on a flagship smartphone. It struggled with flares, captured very little detail and was overall rather disappointing. On the front there is a single 20 megapixel camera for selfie duties. The Mi 10 Ultra takes some decent selfies but there is a fair amount of skin smoothing going on. Selfie portrait mode photos seem to look rather realistic. The Mi 10 Ultra's video is average at best. It's got 8K video at 24fps alongside the standard USD 60fps mode. There's also a 960fps slow motion mode. On the surface, the Mi 10 Ultra's battery is an average size for this class of smartphone. It's a 4500mAh cell in a device with 5 cameras, a power hungry chipset, and a big high refresh rate display. Xiaomi's software, however, works aggressively in the background, killing applications and optimizing power users to deliver good battery life. 
The device charged from 0 to 100% in just 21 minutes in our testing. It includes 120W fast charging. It also comes with 50W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus feels excellent in hand. The Pro Plus features a quad curve overflow display which means they have curved glass at all four edges. This device looks genuinely unique and recognizable in a sea of smartphones packing same design from the front. Available in high gloss black or white, a key differentiator between the P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus is the material used around the back. Display itself is a 6.58 inch OLED panel with vivid colors, deep blacks and customizable color temperature and display options. Viewing angles and outdoor viewability are great. You can expect identical performance across the P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus given the fact both pack Kirin 990 chipsets with 8GB of RAM. We found the Huawei P40 Pro Plus to be just as speedy as other top-end phones such as the Galaxy S20 or iPhone 11. The P40 Pro Plus packs a powerful rear camera setup, equipped with 5 lenses. The main lens here is a 50MP sensor and a 40MP ultra-wide lens. The Pro Plus sports two telephoto snappers, both packing 8MP resolution. The first telephoto camera features a 3x zoom and the second features a 10x optical zoom. Both of these lenses feature optical image stabilization and there is a time-of-flight 3D depth sensing camera in the mix too. Through a combination of hardware and software, Huawei says the phone is able to achieve 100x zoom. As for the video recording capabilities of the Pro Plus, it comes with 4K video recording at 60fps. The front camera is among the best we have ever tested with 32MP of resolution and a secondary depth sensor for maximum impact selfies. This phone captures stunning details combined with dynamic range and excellent low light performance to handle virtually any environment you shoot. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus has a 4200 mAh battery inside and its performance is fantastic. It can easily last a full day through intensive use. It also supports 40W fast charging and there's also 40W wireless charging too. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel, however the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology and it will come in either black or purple. It also has a full bezel at the top rather than a notch or punch hole. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. It offers some strong performance and be able to cope with all the tasks that most other top-end phones can do. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage-wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with a microSD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there is no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another idea Sony's put a spotlight on. The camera includes a 12MP main sensor, a 12MP telephoto one with 3x optical zoom and a 12MP ultra-wide sensor alongside a 3D time of flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. It's using a technology that Sony developed for its alpha range of cameras and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and auto exposure calculations at 60 frames per second while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there's an 8MP selfie camera and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front-facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, up from 3330mAh on the Xperia 1. There's also fast charging here that will allow for up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. 